Well, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net. It's your look ahead video on Saturday the 5th of December. Don't forget, if you want to forecast for the next three days in more detail, then check out Gary's Fast Forecast at weatherweb.net. Now, huge rainfall totals occurring today across parts of the Lake District into western parts of Scotland as well. This is the total rainfall gathered from radar for the last 24 hours from Weather Online. Dot co dot uk and uh, you can see the colors here that dark dark red that is 200 millimeters of rain or more falling over parts of the lake district in fact across much of northwest wales western scotland and across parts of western ireland here we've been seeing totals according to radar of 100 millimeters plus now we haven't got any ground truth in of that just at the moment but certainly looks as if some areas have been extremely wet. Um, main focus for this video though is on the idea of cooler weather coming in during the second half of December. We're starting to get a feel for that now. Now I think it's important to stress that we're not looking at desperate cold and certainly the uh, ensemble prediction of temperature for the next 15 days shows this sort of downward trend as we head through this week and into next week look. And, generally temperatures actually fall back to near average for the time of year but because they've been so mild it's going to be very similar to how it was a couple of weekends ago where when that cold air came in it really did feel bitterly cold and in fact this is what the GFS does for Friday the 18th of December so um, 13 days away but it's just interesting to see it's a 316 hour forecast it puts low pressure east it brings in this northerly flow builds the ridge off towards the west there and the um, the 500 millibar flow showing um, the trough in place as well through here here is the ridge just building so we've got warm air pumping up here which is effectively building that ridge now um, going ahead to 384 hours this is up to the 21st of December so we're getting very close now, aren't we, to an actual forecast for Christmas Day, an operational forecast for Christmas Day. Um, but this one from under the 21st, trying to build in high pressure up towards the north, brings us into a, a cooler north to northeasterly flow. It's not desperately cold, but certainly it is cooler. And the 500 millibar flow for the same time um, builds the ridge, quite a strong ridge, out towards the west of the UK and almost wants to try and get this into an Amiga ridge. It's sort of there already because the jet is cutting off down here. Needs to be strengthened a little bit, but if that came into place, that would certainly be in situ as we head into the Christmas week. Um, obviously much to play for because this is such a long way away, but it's just interesting to see how the GFS operational is seeing much the same as the uh, GFS ensemble in terms of that pressure fall off and it's something that needs to be monitored quite carefully. Um, this is how the Chinese see it. Um, you've got to twist your head for this one. There's the UK just underneath there. But the Chinese model uh, for the period running from the 16th through until the 25th, so up to Christmas Day, is showing a ridge build across the eastern states here, pumping down more of a west northwesterly flow into the Atlantic. That creates a, a, a trough through the UK in a strong westerly jet stream. And the Chinese model not necessarily seeing the ridge build as strongly as the GFS operational, but certainly it sees something trying to get going out here. And it does reduce temperatures, but keeps things very, very unsettled across the UK during that run up to Christmas and through Christmas itself. So there's elements of agreement there, particularly in the build of this ridge uh, across the stage, which would pump in that cold air southeastwards into the Atlantic and would strengthen the trough across the UK but that ridge doesn't get further eastwards as the GFS tries to suggest um, but as I say it's something that needs to be watched fairly carefully and of course we'll keep it up to date here at weatherweb.net just before I go to show you this one very quickly this is the mean of the uh, 7 to 10 day uh, mean of the 500 millibar flow ECMWF is here GFS is on the right here and uh, this is from next Saturday through to Tuesday the 15th. Reasonable agreement here, ridge build across the eastern states pumping in this trough down here in the western Atlantic. A similar story on the GFS, there's our trough being pumped in down here in the western Atlantic. So both of them sort of seeing a similar evolution into the back end of, um, of that week and of course as we've just seen some hints of this ridge really trying to 
get its act together. And interesting that the Chinese is showing a similar sort of scenario. So uh, we we don't have any option at the moment but to go for this colder second half of December. It's very important, though, not to make too much of it, certainly not to get the snow geese jumping up and down about it because I don't think it's at that stage. But certainly interesting to see how this thing is starting to develop. OK, I'm, uh, I'm going to leave you with that for now. Of course, we'll keep you updated over the next few days as to how things develop and change. But for now, um, if you do want a fast forecast, remember to go to weatherweb.net and uh, click on the fast forecast there. But whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining. Bye for now.